I warned you. But you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. in the belief that their masters have their own destinies. But we know differently, don't we, James? Now, where were we? An extension. You should know better than to ask. But I... No, have... no. Let me finish. An agreement is an agreement. There can be no extension. I've never been late before. Of course you haven't, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting there now. You have... Uh... I have seven days. Exactly. And James, no more unnecessary complications. I had nothing to do with that. It was the old man. A fine distinction. He wants to die. I, I can't control him anymore. That happens eventually. What do I do about it? That's your problem, James. There are hundreds of prospects out there, all of them available to you. I suggest, don't waste any more time, but go out and find your salvation. Before it's too late. This is a first warning on James Barlow. That's right, Barlow. <laughs> Hundreds of prospects out there, all of them available to you. I suggest you stop wasting time and go out and find your salvation. Good. You're a student of art? No, nope. I'm an art student. There's a difference. 
student of art doesn't have to work at it, I do. I gotta get this finished by a 2.30 class. Oh. Oh, that's my fault. I I'm sorry, let me make it up to you. How? Buy your lunch? I'm sorry, I don't have any time. Well, at least let me walk you back to school. All right. Holly. My name is James. Hi. What courses are you taking? Oh, sculpture, painting, linear design. Sorry, I gotta get home. Oh, okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Bye bye. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, thanks. How'd you find it? I saw it on the path. I recognized the artist's work. I thought it would give me a chance to see you again. Why? I mean, we're strangers. Well, I don't want us to be. Okay? Okay. How'd you happen to lose it? Oh, last night on my way home. I got scared. I, I started running and dropped it. Scared of what? <laughs> Nothing, really. An old man. Just an old man. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm OK. I guess I was a little tired last night. Worried. You were? Uh-huh. Why is it so important? If I fail my exams this year, that's the finish. Kaput for Holly. Back to Oblivion, Idaho. Is it as bad as it sounds? <laughs> Worse. I got just enough money to last me for the school year. Provided I don't eat on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. I'll make you a deal. I'll feed you on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. What do I have to do to pay for my supper? Tell me the story of your life. You're on.
take my hand away. If you scream again, I'll kill you. Now listen carefully. Stop seeing that boy. It's very important. Don't ever see him again. Why? If you see him again, you'll die. Get me the police. What did the police say? Nothing. Because he didn't cut my throat on the spot, they didn't seem to consider it worth bothering over. Well, they're probably right. Some old derelict filled with too much cheap booze. Not enough for him to find out where I live. He kept saying, stop seeing that boy. And since you're the only boy I'm seeing right now, we've come to a parting of the ways. Is that what you want? No. That's the way it's going to be. Look, James, I'm sorry, but that old man scares me. You think if you stop seeing me, he's going to leave you alone? That's the general idea. He won't hurt you. I won't let him hurt you. He said if I saw you again, I'd die. Well, he's a crazy old man. Polly. Please. I don't want to lose you. Buy me lunch. I'll buy you lunch fit for a princess. see it. Not bad. Hey, that's good. It's good likeness. That's not important. What's important is what's underneath. The attitude. Oh. How would you describe it? Knowing. Wise. Would you do me a favor? Sure, if I can. Would you come home with me? If you don't get any funny ideas, or... watch the old man, he may come back again. Okay. Don't sound so enthusiastic. to talk. Come on. What did she want? Who? The old lady in the park. I don't know. Well, why wouldn't you talk to her? I don't like old people. I hate them. <laughs> That's pretty heavy, isn't it? I just hate the idea of growing old. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Not me, Holly. No way. <laughs> what then, the fountain of youth? Why not? You're going to be in for it when these start turning gray. <laughs> hate to be around you then with that attitude. I'll settle for you being around right now. <laughs> I like these. Oh? The organic form, the transparency of color. <laughs> Where'd you learn about painting? Hmm? All around. Around where? 
I just know what I like, that's all. <laughs> if that were all, you would say that's very nice or that's very interesting, but not I like the organic forms. Okay. That's all I know a little bit about painting. Well, what's the big secret? Why didn't you tell me before? Hey, you're angry. Well, a little. I mean, you let me ramble on about painting all day long. You probably know more about it than I do. I know a little bit about a lot of things. I've been around longer than you have. Mm, at least four years. More or less. Bye, Holly. Well, you, you said you'd stay. No, I didn't. I said I'd come home with you. I can't stay. Well, what is it? Did I say something wrong? No. There's something I have to do. You're not married, are you? Work? Is it work? Yeah. I work nights. <laughs> Don't worry about the old man. You lock the door and keep it locked. Forget it! Did you hear me? I said you can forget it. It's gonna be all right. And you tell Matthews. Never mind, I'll tell him myself. You know as well as I do, James. These things are never all right until the commitment has been made. Is that why there's a warning out on me? Precisely. You came in here three days ago asking for an extension. What else could I do but protect the company's interests? Well, something has happened since then. Ah, yes. That pretty young thing you met in the park. Yes. Such a pity. She seemed so alive, so vibrant. But then they always do, don't they? Will you call them off? Has the commitment been made? Not exactly. Not yet. Well, there's nothing I can do. Not yet. Now, remember, you have only four more days. I'll remember.
please uh, get me an ambulance and the police. <sighs> Please get the ambulance. If you like. What is it, Holly? I locked the door like you said. He came back. First you see him, then you don't. He was here, he seemed sick. When I called for help, he was gone. He didn't hurt you. No. Only he warned me again. Only this time he didn't say to leave the boy alone. He said to leave him alone. Let him die is what he said. I'm sorry I couldn't be here. So am I. Only that's not what I'm worried about now. What is it, then? I saw you in the park today. Well, why didn't you say something? I was looking for you. How did you get this? From the old woman's purse. But don't worry, she won't miss it. She's dead. She's what? One little conversation with you and she's dead. Oh, my God. You didn't know? No, I didn't. But you did know her? Yes. You lied to me? Yes, but... Why did she carry that photograph with her? She knew the girl, too. Were they related? There's a resemblance. Yes, they were. Was it her daughter? No, no, it must be her granddaughter. Tell me about it. We were very close. We were going to be married. What happened? She died. I'm sorry. The old lady blamed me for it. Why? I don't know. She was mixed up. Crazy with grief. Oh, how awful. The poor thing. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got angry. I'm sorry I put my nose in your life. I want to know all about you. It's important to me. Why? Why is it important? I don't want to be hurt. I hurt easily. Don't hurt me, Jamie. I don't think I could take that. Oh, God. I think I love you. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. I don't know how or why. I don't know anything about you. Does it matter? No. Nothing matters now except being with you. Chief. Rich man? Poor man? Beggar man? Thief. Aha! That's it! <laughs> You're a second story man. A cat burglar. That's why you always have to work at night, right? Yes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. Well, is this your victim for tonight? What's that? Mr. Matthews, 1400 West uh, uh, Street. Uh, uh. When will I see you again? As soon as possible. Are you sure? <laughs> About you? Mm -hmm. About us? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'm glad. Mm. I'll see you later. You're not working tonight? No, nope, not tonight. Oh, that's great. I'll cook dinner. How does that sound? That sounds fine. Mm -hmm. has been made. I'm pleased for you, James. Are you? Of course I am. I've grown rather fond of you after all these years. Now we won't be seeing one another again for quite some time. No. I'm surprised, James. You should be jubilant. You don't sound even particularly pleased. Peggy Mantell is dead. I know. That's the best for all concerned under the circumstances. You think so? Well, don't you? After all, she'd served her purpose. She served my purpose. Isn't that what it's all about? What it's always been about, right from the start? Yes. Well, goodbye, James. Until next time, you'll be contacted in the usual way. Oh, I nearly forgot. Cancel the warning on James Barlow. Jamie? Yes? What are you doing? I've been watching you sleep. I'm glad she came back tonight. So am I. What are you whispering for? I feel like shouting. It's late. So it's late. No, don't turn the light on. What have you done with him? He's all right. I don't believe you. No, no, don't, please. I've got to tell you something, Holly. I've got to tell you now. After you've heard it, then you can call the police. If you still want to. Oh, 
started a long time ago. I was nearly 80 years old. I was afraid. I was afraid and I was dying. I was dying of old age. You don't know what it is to be old, Holly. It's a terrible thing. Your own body won't obey any longer and there's pain. Your very bones cry out with pain and anguish. So why not let yourself die gracefully, you say? Just let yourself slip away out of your own misery. Well, I was greedy. There was so much I hadn't done. There were so many places I hadn't seen. My body was ready for death. My body was ready, but my mind... Oh, my mind was full of wondrous inquiry. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to see everything. So I made this agreement, this pact. In return for something I didn't really believe in, I was given back. You must believe this, Holly. I was given back my youth. As each new day dawned, I was reborn. Young, vigorous. sunset did I become once more what don't you see now it was like that for more years than I can even remember and finally the time came where I had done everything I had seen everything now was the time to die but the young part of me didn't want that he wouldn't allow it he fought against it See, he didn't know what it is to be bone-weary. Oh, dear God, so very, very weary. James. James. Where is he? You still don't understand, do you, Holly? No. No, I don't. If this is what you wanted to tell me, why didn't you tell me before? Why did you come around here scaring me to death? Because you wouldn't have believed me. What makes you think I'll believe you now? Because now... you have no alternative. Say goodbye. No. No, don't. Don't leave me alone. Oh, don't you see? I stay this way by using people like you. I don't care. Now listen. That old lady in the park, Peggy Mantell. Do you know how old she was? I don't know. 70, 75. No. No, she was young. She was the girl in the picture. She loved me. And I made her into an, a pathetic old hag. I don't understand. My age was transferred to her. That's why she came looking for me. That's why she tried to talk to me. 
And now it'll happen to you. You'll start aging slowly at first and then faster and faster. A year and a few weeks until you... until you look the way she did. I don't believe you. It's true. Then why did you stay? Why are you telling me this? Because for the first time, the first time, I'm in love too. And I couldn't leave you without an explanation, without it, at least warning you. Please don't leave me. There must be a way. There isn't. There isn't. At least... At least stay until I start growing old. Give me that much, please. And won't you grow to hate me, Holly? No. Meet me once more. In the park. This afternoon. Mr. Matthews. I'm Holly Brown. I'm a friend of James. I'm a very busy man. You must excuse me. Not until we talk first. You're wasting your time, I assure you. Very well. What shall we talk about? James. James and me. You know, don't you? He told you. Yes. Well, if you know, you must also know there's nothing to talk about. The affair is closed. Now, I really must ask you to leave. You're going to listen to me. I can make you listen. How? I'll report you to the police. Report what? This. This office, what you do here. What office, my dear? You see, there's nothing to report. And nothing you can do to change what has occurred. I want to see the agreement. What agreement? The agreement James signed. It's an ironclad contract, I assure you, with no loopholes. Including the payment clause, which of course is irrevocable. We always collect. What do you collect? We collect his soul, my dear. I still want to see it. You truly love him, don't you? Yes. I would be failing in my duty if I didn't point out to you the disadvantages. Why should you want to buy youth when you already have it? I want to stay with James. And for him, you would sell your eternal soul? Mark my word, eternal. Have you any conception of what that means? It means for all time, never to end. Let me see it. Very well, my dear. Something. Is that why you wanted me to be in the park? 
Yes. I know what it's like to want to live forever, to see everything and be everything. I understand what you did. The old man killed someone. Did you know that? The girl I was seeing before you, he wanted me to lose her so he could die. It wasn't your fault. I don't believe you're real. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a character in a book, a fairy tale, and I want to live happily ever after. You can't. No one can. We can, Jamie. What do you mean? I talked with Mr. Matthews. I signed the same contract you did. Why? So that we could be together, stay together, always. Young by day and old at night. Yes. And you'll find young men and they'll love you. But I love you, Jamie. Only you. can't collect on that agreement for years. What if I arrange for you to collect on it right now? You don't, don't know, know what you're saying. saying. Yes, I do. I want out. Do you hear me? I hear you. Knowing the terms of your contract, you still want to be terminated? Yes, if you release Holly from her agreement. Oh, I see. This is most unusual. I don't think I've ever come across a situation like this before. Will you do it? But I thought all this was so important to you, this everlasting life. Not anymore. You will. When? Soon. You feel nothing. It's quick. At least on this level. And afterwards? Oh, well, afterwards is another matter altogether. Then you'll belong to us, wholly and irrevocably, for all time. Goodbye, James. James Barlow is terminated.
Holly.